I recently got my hands on TrueVault, a Blender add-on by TrueVFX, and I have to say, it makes a strong first impression. The concept is instantly appealing. It is basically your library inside Blender, letting you browse and pull in assets without even leaving the software. The add-on promises to access a huge and growing collection of content. We're talking hundreds, if not thousands of high-quality 3D assets, materials, textures, and even terrain height maps. So how does it work? And how can you take advantage of it? TrueVault's core features deliver on that promise, actually in a pretty straightforward way. Essentially, the add-on is an integrated asset browser hooked up to an online library. You purchase credits, which is an in-app currency, and spend them to grab assets directly through Blender's interface. No manual downloading from websites, no fiddling with external asset libraries. Everything is organized nicely into categories, like trees, grass, materials, rocks, etc. And you can search or filter to find what you need. There is a search bar that life filters asset names, and you can apply various filters by price, type, owned or not owned, in addition to other things, or drill down through a category hierarchy to narrow things down. In other words, it acts like an asset vault inside Blender without needing any browsing tools. So you can quickly hunt for that perfect model or maybe a texture without breaking your workflow. The TrueVault UI pops up right within Blender, and it is designed in a user-friendly way, which helps you to feel right at home. I was able to search for assets in real time, apply filters, and source results pretty intuitively. The interface lets you type keywords to instantly pare down the list of assets, or click through categories and subcategories if you are just browsing around. There's even a handy Elm tab that shows only the assets that you have purchased or downloaded. Performance-wise, the add-on seems well thought out. It uses pagination when listing assets, so it doesn't try to load thousands of thumbnails, I mean at once, and bog down Blender's memory. In my experience, the browser was reasonably snappy, so it feels like the developers balance the flashy features with practicality, so that using it doesn't turn Blender into a slow, clunky mess. When it comes to strengths, a few things stand out about TrueVault. First of all, the variety and quality of assets which are available, so in short, it is impressive for a new platform. There are already a ton of assets that you can choose from. I've seen everything from realistic trees, plants, materials, and HDRI environments, plus some useful stuff, like high-res terrain height maps. And the assets I tried look pretty great in Blender. Importing an asset can be basically done in one click, and it comes into your scene ready to go. No manual appending or fixing up needed. I also appreciate some of the clever design choices. For example, TrueVault will manage asset versions and updates for you. So if the developers release an improved version of the asset or added variations, the add-on will handle that without having to manually redownload stuff from a website. Little touches like this can make it feel like a robust, well-thought-out tool, rather than just a basic asset grabber. On a side note, while the asset quality is generally high, not every asset is an ultra-detailed hero model. For example, some assets lose quality with extreme close-ups, even though it was perfect for mid or background use, but generally speaking, the assets are fantastic. And if you're after a very specific or niche items, you might not find them right away. But the good news, they plan to keep expanding the collection, so it is the kind of add-on that is likely to get even better over time. But right now, you will mostly find what TrueVFX has focused on over the years, like environment assets, materials and textures in addition to other things. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in TrueVault, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, please consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.